Pennsylvania yesterday, and it has MAGA in a panic. It has Republicans running scared. This is not hyperbole, not a joke, folks, to quote President Joe Biden. We are going to lay it all out. And the most important sort of takeaway for me is, listen, we remember this level of excitement when Barack Obama became a candidate. The excitement does not get you a successful presidential term. They are two different things. You can have an extraordinarily excited electorate and generate enthusiasm that we haven't seen for years, and then your presidency can flop after you win. They are two different things. And right now, all we are evaluating is the energy and the positivity of the Harris Walls message compared to the dystopian, negative, catastrophic and apocalyptic language of the Trump <clears throat> campaign. That's what we're comparing right now. But as far as that goes, we have not seen this sort of positive messaging and mm. energy both for a long time in American politics. It feels like it has been too, too long. Tim Walls is excellent. Excellent. So here is Kamala Harris and Tim Walls getting on stage in Philadelphia for the first time as a ticket and just palpable energy. Save our country just wild and this is the same arena that donald trump struggled to fill very recently and bursting at the seams with kamala harris and tim walls kamala harris introducing tim walls and saying she wanted a fighter she wanted a patriot and she wanted a uniter and she believes that that is tim walls and the crowd just going wild so here's the thing here's the thing since the day that i announced my candidacy i set out to find a partner who can help build this brighter future. A leader who will help uh, unite one. our nation and move us forward. A fighter for the middle class. A patriot who believes as I do in the extraordinary promise of America. A promise of freedom, opportunity, and justice, not just for some, but for all. So, Pennsylvania, I'm here today because I found such a leader. Yeah. Yeah, it is very, very different because of what we've become accustomed to, to hear this We're like, level oh my of God. energy associated with a positive. It's, it's because it's somebody who isn't crazy. message because if you watch the Trump rallies the only time the crowd gets that excited is either when Trump does his stupid trans weightlifting routine where he goes uh, pretending to lift weights or when Trump attacks somebody that's the only way to get the MAGA crowd excited and here the crowd is excited about a positive message here is Kamala Harris introducing Tim Walls and then we will get to his speech Tim It's the same person. It's the same person. I'm going crazy with positivity. It's the same person.
Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Philadelphia. Just an outpouring of support, and I know that there are people. We who love our actual saying, leaders. You know, this is the we same love them. Mistake, Hillary, or Shillery, or Killery. You know, this gives you an idea of who's saying this stuff. Same mistake Hillary Clinton made in 2016. Another boring, milk toast white guy. I just don't see it that way. Tim Kaine was extremely boring. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. He inspired nothing. Uh, Tim Walls not only has an extraordinary record as governor, but he really brings it. This guy is aggressive and going right out of the gate. I, I was stunned that he did this. But Tim Walls went right at J.D. Vance, even bringing up the couch fiasco. For some of you who don't know, there's been this rumor about J.D. Vance reportedly having a romantic encounter with a couch. Unclear if there was an ottoman involved or whether it was fully automatic recline or manual recline. We just don't know all the details, but uh, Tim Wall's going right at it and Kamala Harris loving it and the crowd loving it. And what a 180, what a 180 from seeing Trump's rally in this same building just uh, just recently. Uh, let's uh, let me make sure I have the right video clip here. Like all regular people I grew up with in the heartland, J.D. studied at Yale, <laughs> had his career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires. Right and then wrote a bestseller trashing that community. Come on. Yep. That's not Come what on. America is. That's not. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. Oh yeah. I'm going to kick his ass. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Wait for it. Fuck these goddamn traitors. Get them out of here. We're going to slaughter you. Through the cheering, it's the same person. They're, chain, they're cheering because he is sane. That's bad for the Republican Party. If we don't have a cartoon character like Joe, you know. And he knows how to clown on these idiots. He's like, I'll take these fucking idiots. I'll take them too. They're pieces of shit. You can slaughter them in public. They're easy. That is if, you, if he's willing. Look, look at that confidence, and I feel the same. You could like these idiots have, have stepped in and, and really trampled our rights. To get off the couch and show up. So. <laughs> they have trampled our rights. They have killed Roe v. Wade. They're sending money overseas, both of them. Democrats too. Make no mistake, folks. This is this is not Tim Kaine without hair. That is uh, that is absolutely the case. Uh, Tim Walls pointing out during his speech, crime was up under Trump, and that's not even that's not even including the crimes committed by Trump. Mm -hmm. I, I just love this stuff. Now, Donald Trump sees the world a little differently than us. There it is. We First hate you. All, we hate you. First thing about service. Nope. I entered the Navy. That was too fat. Too much games. He doesn't have time for it because he's too busy serving himself. Again and again and again. Trump weakens our economy to strengthen his own hand. He mocks our laws. He sows chaos and division. Wherever he goes. And that's to say nothing of his record as president. Oh. He froze in the face of the COVID crisis. He drove our economy into the ground. And make no mistake, Violent crime was up under Donald Trump. It was. I never felt less safe than when Trump was in power in my whole life. And that's that's a, that is not some hyperbole. I felt like it was really dangerous when Trump was in power. 
Like something was bad was gonna happen with them. Like something bad was gonna happen on the streets. Like something really bad was gonna happen. I felt very unsafe when Trump was in power. I really did. And and trust me, I'm not. I'm a progressive. I'm actually usually pretty comfortable with whoever's running the country. You know, because it's, uh, I I mean my thing is I want them to change. They won't. So I don't believe them. Believe in them. I vote for them, but I don't believe in them. And it's weird. And so, and, but as a progressive, I, I look at it like. I don't know the, the Democrats. A lot of, oftentimes they will sell you out. They're they're kind of dangerous a little bit. When counting the crimes he committed. <laughs> you got this guy in the back like, oh no, he did it. <laughs> this is uh, this this is just really good stuff. This is exactly the sort of energy we needed, and I was glad to see Governor Walls also mention Project Twenty Twenty Five. Bless anyone forget what is dun, it? Dun, 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 dun. Take us backwards. Let's be clear about that. Right. And don't believe him when he plays dumb. He knows exactly what Project 2025 will do to restrict our freedoms. He knows exactly what it'll do. He's not stupid. Fuck him. And Project Fuck 2025, him. which had very little name recognition six weeks ago, now understood not only for dun, what dun, it is. Dun. That's the Sith battle plan. You know, that's uh, that's Palpatine's, uh, uh, you know, playbook. Ah, uh, the Pal Pal Palpatine's playbook. Uh, projects is, is for its existence, <laughs> but for the existential risk that it presents. You, know, you may recall that Tim Walls was one of the first people on the, these guys are creepy and weird, and he did bring that up as well. Pointing out just an observation of mine that I, I that I made. I just have to You're say. You're kind of creepy and weird. You know it, you feel it. These guys are creepy, and yes, just yeah, weird creepy. as hell. That's what you see. Yeah. That's what you see. That's how I feel. You Mixing. guys are scary to me. You're creepy as hell. You constantly spend too much money. Where'd you get it? You're a civil servant. Where did you get that money? Policy with the... I'll tell you how. Selling property and shit. Fucking slumlord in it. Rhetoric that I've been wanting to see. And just look at the charisma difference. Mm -hmm. J.D. Vance or Shady Vance. Y'all are a little creepy. J. You're like full-blown creepy. Vance. You're like a little creepy. Or also, You've been shaking Trump hands with... Uh, you shook hands... Uh, Trump, Trump shook hands with Jeffrey. I think he should bring it up at the goddamn rally. It's disgusting, but I wish he would. Uh, you know, but you guys are kind of creepy. I know you don't want me to say it's so weird and bluntly like this, but you guys are kind of... The right-wing right party is goddamn creepy. They're like creepy. They're always shaking Jeffrey's hands and shit like that. They're always backing rich people and fucking like conglomerates, and it's weird. It's kind of creepy. It's it's like, like did did you are you just not on Team America? You're just on Team t Team yourself. I am all for you ripping other countries peep other people from other countries fucking bitcoin off from them i'm all for you selling them stuff for really fucking expensive or selling stuff high and you know buying low and selling high to them i i, I really I, I think a lot of the time these weird richer dinosaurs are, are out to hunt the people and that's dumb just just hunt one of our enemies you know I feel like constantly I'm under fire from my own government and my own police. It's disgusting. I, it's creepy, frankly. It's like sort of creepy. It's, it's not the American fucking vibe. You, you know, our vibe, I can tell you what our vibe is. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's like Casey Kasem or like uh, David Letterman or, you know, Seinfeld. We're, 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 you know, we're, we're kind of funky white people, you know, not all of us at all, but I mean, like, we're kind of like funky white people, like, you know, in America, and we're kind of funny people, and I would say that JP, right? J.D. Mandel. Mandel slash Vance, 20 years Tim Walls is junior, and lacking the energy, and completely lacking the charisma. And then this is really good stuff. I would say maybe even the best moment of Walls' speech where he says, hey, you know, one of the things that- I have some advice for any right-wingers in the channel. This is a good thing because while you guys will lose, and maybe the Republican Party is dead after Trump, I don't know. But maybe you guys will lose, and I'm sure it'll be a battle, and he's going to terrify everybody when he refuses to, like, stand down or whatever. It's going to be weird, but what does he care? He's lived his life. I think he's, 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 he's okay with being a despot. 
And I don't know, like, I, I think it's a good thing because I think nothing will happen. I think that's what the Democrats actually want. It's for nothing to happen. I think that's what's on their faces. They're trying to... We want to know why people are so fucking crazy for these people. It's screaming and like like nuts. It's because... And just positive and glowing like pregnant women. It's because they're like, we're bringing sanity to the fucking table. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to help anybody. They're not going to, you know, they're going to change anything. But they're going to bring sanity to the fucking table. And these people in the background, they need that. They want it. They need it and want it. And, the, and, 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 and that's why I made my comment about sanity. It's like I, anybody who appears sane to me who worked a normal American life and maybe experienced our tax system, experienced our, our shortcomings at the doctor's office, exper experienced our shortcomings at the fucking, you know, at the job office, you know, like it's just and just like kind of be like, like live here for for 20, 30, 40 years, something like that. And, and, and I want to hear from an American who didn't like sit on in a bidet his whole life you know that's this guy this guy will, will wipe the floor with these weird insane unhinged cartoon characters they will wipe the floor because their legitimacy is all over them from the suit to the laughter to the fucking trolling them and being like nah nah we've been dealing with you for 100 years we know we know matters is freedom and freedom is respecting that other people make may make different. Yeah, like like we built this on freedom. So some people believe in the freedom of abortion. Some people don't. Some people believe in the freedom of drugs. Some people don't. Some people believe, believe in the freedom of killing. Some people don't. Some people, I don't believe that our army should be free to kill. Not really. I, I really don't think so. I don't think the army should ever use force unless somebody has come to our shore. You know, I really don't. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I don't want to defund the army. I really don't. I, that shows the world a bad lesson. Or sorry, a bad example. I am like I'm talking about like you know we don't need a lot of money to look really strong and smart and and it seems like you guys think that money is is the end all be all like money's your god now you rip each other off all the time and fuck each other over and all this, but honestly I think if you were to like spend the time to do the work to if it, to to efficacy effic 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 or whatever like like if like work on work on your efficiency. As governments, as militaries, as armies, as everything. If you were to work on your efficiency, I think you find that we can, like, with the like with the right budget, you, you can you can do anything in this country. And as you can see on their faces that they believe this, and they do. And I really do believe that we can give every fucking American citizen a place to live, three square meals a day, or at least like the money to reach three square meals a day, or at least some, some, something like that, or, or just, you know, sub subsidize the farms so we can put food in the, in the, in the grocery stores for, for 50 cents as opposed to $5, you know? And I don't know how we get all that money. I think we have to stop doing foreign wars and just build like a really efficient army that's super fucking good at showing up inside of our country. But I mean, as the world's child... We are too young to be making decisions like backing Israel and stuff like that. We just, we just really are. We're too young. We like, we can't be paying. Like, okay, if you're, if you're like, I look at America as like this 15 year old gangly teenager that everybody's friends with and everybody loves and cherishes and really wants in their community and stuff. But that that kid is the world's child. That kid is everybody else's baby. It's it's kind of crazy. That's what America is. It's everybody else's baby. So we get like I really feel that the freedom needs to be pretty much pushed with the border. It needs to be pushed with the drugs. It needs to be pushed with the, like you know, with, with the healthcare and all this other stuff. And 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 we've had like we've had like George Bush do nothing for eight years except get us in a war that we didn't want. We had Trump like fail COVID. And while he helped us, I got to say, he helped us with the fucking PUA, uh, Pandemic on Assistance Relief. I do not believe that, like, giving money to Americans who are in trouble necessarily makes you some fucking hero. I, I give him the nod when I need to because I benefit. I benefited from this. What's going on on my phone? What the fuck's going on, man? This thing's too loud most of the time. Well, maybe there's text messages. Huh? Text messages, huh? Oh yeah, huh? Okay. Oh my god. Decisions than you make. Some of us, some of us in here are old enough to remember. I see you down there. 
And I don't know, when, with something about bigotry, it kills your, your charisma. Do you see it? This guy, I guarantee, he probably doesn't give a shit about abortion. He doesn't give a shit about other people of other colors. He doesn't give a shit about the border. He doesn't give a shit about Mexicans. He only fucking cares about America. That's it. And he wants these people sitting behind him, like her, to just, you know, to get three square meals a day and a job that's worth a damn and, and respect and, and, and a life that's worth a damn. And just general quality of life for everybody here. And, and I'm sorry, but crazy was not a good look. We are not into fascism or fucking totalitarianism or, you know, I, I'm against all authority. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, not only am I an anarchist, like, honestly, when I, you know, I got a tattoo in between my thumb and my forefinger, and I don't think you can probably see it on the camera. I can't do the angle that well but there's a tattoo between my thumb and my forefinger of an anarchy symbol and i thought for a long time i would do all three a's in a big triple a like the fucking company saying you know against all authority because i really don't think that the government needs to tell us what to do i don't believe it can tell us what to do with trade tariffs i don't believe it should tell us what to do with taxes i don't believe it should tell us what to do with inheritance i don't believe it should tell us what to do with drugs i don't believe it should tell us what to do with like you know a lot of things and, and, and i want the government out of my fucking business now so i can live out the last half of my life after being a fucking like you know a fucking crazy person on the streets high on methamphetamine you know attempted suicide in and out of the the, the denver uh, you know, mental health center of Denver, in and out as a client, in and out as a person, in, in and out as a drug dealer, in and out as everything, in and out as a lover, in and out as, a, as, as anything, really. And, and, and now I want the second half of my life to be this thing that isn't tainted by rich white people who are greedy. Is that too much to ask? Because we don't need it that way. If you guys just ran your goddamn businesses correctly and try to screw people from other countries as opposed to people from America, you would be making so much goddamn money. If all the predatory shit you did with the banking and all that with insufficient fees, if you had targeted that on, on anybody using American banks as opposed to Americans, you wouldn't have Americant. You, you have targeted Americans with all of your greed for, for so long. You fuck us when we buy diapers. You fuck us when we buy like like breast. You know, I'm sorry, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not breast milk, but uh, uh, you know, carnation milk and stuff. You fuck us when we buy milk. You fuck us when we buy gas. You fuck us when we buy rent. You fuck us when we buy everything, everything. You fuck us at Whole Foods. You fuck us, at, you know, you fuck us with hot dogs. You fuck us with government cheese. You fuck us. You, you literally use the American people as some kind of goddamn wretched fucking financial experiment. And you crash banks on us. You, you fucking, you, you, I mean, I, by you, I mean like pretty much like anybody in power. Like you, you just like pretty much target Americans and use them like matrix batteries. This must end. I don't give two shits what you do to other people from other countries. I really don't. You understand? I'm an isolationist. I really do not care. I, I, I give I give two shits if it's violent. I will not I will not stand by while you while you aim violence or pay for other people to engage in violence. I will not stand by. But like I don't you know I really don't uh, like I, I, I don't know it's hard to, to, to sum up what I'm trying to say when I'm drunk it's it's difficult like I, I don't need you to play the world police I need you to honor Americans and stop targeting Americans with terrible rent terrible prices of cars terrible trade tariffs terrible like brownouts and stuff like the power isn't being taken care of because the goddamn infrastructure just isn't taken care of and it's just, and it's just stupid i don't i don't know what to do i don't know what to do these pe these people they don't know what to do they're, they're, they're saying we're going to be positive and we're going to try because the republicans are like oh civil war and we hate black people pretty much you know i'm not a republican i don't speak for them but i, I am progressive which means that i fall right on stuff like guns I fall left on stuff like drugs and abortion, but I fall right on stuff like guns and, and making a sweeping internet law that connects your social security to your internet identity. So cyberbullying is just pretty much dead because if you cyberbully somebody, it sullies your fucking social and then you can't get a job ever again. That's how fucking fascist I actually am. I'm a, I'm a deep, 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 deep liberal, ultra left wing liberal, but I'm an anarchist, remember? And one of the things that I, I like is, is disorder. And one of the problems is, 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 is like, 
I can't have a disordered life if I'm constantly being bullied. I can't have it. Like, if, 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 if social media is this thing or whatever it is, like like video games or being a, stri- a Twitch streamer or anything, if, I'm, if I have the constant of being bullied all the fucking time because there's no, there's no accountability with the person's social or anything like that, then it forces this constant on my life that I can't stand where I'm constantly being harassed all the time. Now, it's not like that right now. I'll be very honest about it. I, I am not being harassed all the time. It's like it's it like it, it's like it ended, and I will acknowledge that now. But it, but it was bad for about two years. And, and I, I look at that like you, will, you cannot force a constant on my life. You cannot do that. It's against the law. Like that is not the freedom or the pursuit of happiness. It doesn't matter if we're from different countries or anything like that. It doesn't matter. It's still a freedom and pursuit of happiness thing that all humans like, uh, you know, enjoy. And so now I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than like, I, I trust these people to try. I don't trust the other side to try. I think the other side is, is, is looking for a showdown. Like I sang that song uh, by electric light, light orchestra uh, you know, earlier today, go ahead if for a showdown. You know, head of, that's a good song, Showdown. And it's like, you know, and, it's, and there's rain all over the world. And there is, there's rain all over the world as you, as you essentially charge too much for makeup, charge too much for cars, charge too much for rent, charge too much for water, charge too much for diapers, charge too much for, for milk, charge too much for fucking food, charge too much for pure food that isn't like horribly bad for you with preservatives and bread and most of it's just wheat that makes you sick. And like I'm, I'm sorry, but the food is really bad. The rent situation is really bad. The education system is really bad. All of the things that Americans need on the base foundation level is really fucking bad because you just expect everybody to somehow come up with the money to pay for all that when the system is so fucked nobody can get a job or get any money for anything. How the fuck are they going to pay for an education and a house and a car and transportation and you know, and, 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 and insurance and food and water and all this other stuff. How are they going to pay for all of that when they're paying for all, the, all of that? They can't pay for anything else. Their lives aren't really worth living. They tell us all the time that they, that they grind their fucking nubs to the bone working all of their lives for basically just like poverty. And I'm sorry, but that is serfdom. It's like basically serfdom. We're, we're like we're like beholden to a government that supports the big lobbies and the fucking big, big fucking rich people that the, the kibitz and screw us on rent and food and water and gas and weapons and military and you know, contract work and all the other stuff. They screw us on it. My 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 thing is, is I kind of want to make it treason to screw another American out of water food like the price like price fix price fix water and food and oil and and transportation and mental health and 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 aids for stuff like child care or 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 maternity leave right like if, if, if those things aren't there what is the goddamn point of them supporting the country if the country doesn't do anything for them like 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 you know jfk said you know ask not what your country can do for you ask what you can do for your country now that's a democrat saying that right and it's and it, but 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 the thing is the people have now given for like 30 years we we pay taxes we pay taxes on on sales tax we pay you every time we, we that we have to the people pay the money to, to keep this government running but but in the meantime you back the lobbies you fuck us on computers you fuck us on software you price fix everything you fuck us on gasoline you fuck us on the price of clothes you fuck us on the price of food you're just price fixers you're price gougers i wouldn't call it the republican party i would call it a bunch of rich people standing around doing nothing and and price gouging instead of working you know i'm dead serious about this this guy can say this to you he will say the same things that i'm saying right to your fucking face we are sick of fucking deadbeats i I, I rather i rather the derision for deadbeats is gone and we just have three square meals a guaranteed place to live if you're in trouble like you know and 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 running water and running food and and light and happiness and and mental health care if you need it instead of just dying on the streets as a question mark like i did like you know mental health care all this other stuff and 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 these people they're willing to talk about it but they don't care they don't care what happens to americans i don't think they care that people are dying of trank on the street i really don't i think they i think they're 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 here to swing the power and maintain a power structure i don't think they're here to help us so i dislike them 
I dislike Kamala Harris. I dislike this this tool Waltz. He looks like a suit dummy to me. I think he backs the prosecutor. I think prosecutors fuck the poor people the last fifty years. And so, what do you think I'm going to think when you run for when you run for president? Is oh, for fifty years, prosecutors have been fucking poor people over the violation of drug charges. What are we going to get when you're president? If you if you're already fucking us as a you know as a you know as a you know as a, a fucking uh, like a uh, a district attorney. I can't imagine what you'll do with your power when you're president, you know? And so in the, remember kids, the Democrats and the Republicans are not your friends. The, the G is not your fucking friends. They're, they are actively out to essentially take money out of your pocket, m food and resources out of your mouth and use you like a, ma a matrix fucking battery while they run like basically popularity votes that they can never win because they're douchebag people who who wheel and deal in the back room. Like one of the reasons this guy showed up today is because they're doing wheels and deals in the back room, and they probably bought him. He was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll save you from this because I'll, I'll go after Trump and I'll just use my personality to wreck him. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of him. I've never been a fucking pussy ass, fake ass person who sat on a bidet his whole life instead of working." This guy will eat somebody like Trump alive. He'll start say, stating how he worked in this and this fucking business for 20 years and that and that business for 20 years and this and this fucking, you know, political entity for 20 years. And, and Trump's going to be like, oh, yeah, I, I talk shit about, you know, I, I, oh, yeah, it's kind of a wake up call when a real goddamn politician shows up instead of a, a cartoon clown character reagent like fucking a regent like um like like Joe Biden. You know, when a real fucking couple of people show up, you begin to see how these people like the, the right wing party is essentially a bunch of crazy Gargamel, you know, almost like 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 almost like villain people that are trying to push like like bigoted responses to, 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 to public aid and trying to push like bigoted like like Christian ideals. And, and, and just I, I view them as the American Taliban, you know, they're like the American terrorists. They, they, they throw bombs and over religion and money and stuff there they're like the American Taliban they they instead of slicing throats on a video they wheel and deal in the fucking back room to make sure that Kamala Harris gets president and the Republicans suspect that that's what's going on absolutely that's what's going on Kamala sold something and we're not Kamala but the you know the the, the Democratic front runners the people running the 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 the, 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 the D pack or whatever the fuck it's called you know the the the, the Democratic caucus uh they are wheeling and dealing in the back room with not only the republicans but probably war war thieves and stuff like that like probably war like you know lord of war types and stuff they're, they're dealing in the back room like okay we'll take some kamala but you have to give us a man who's a vice president who can actually lead and they're like oh that's all you really need and they're like yeah yeah we need to make sure that there's a man who will take over if she gets ousted or 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 uh what's the word impeached impeached for something right she's a prosecutor with a bad record so may or well, the, well she's got a good record but she's you know but she but her record is is like Bagon said fucking black people in the ghetto you know i hate to say it but that's that's what the prosecutors have been doing the last 50 years when they say prosecutor that does not inspire faith in me I know it does to my mother's generation because they've never been targeted by prosecutors, but I have, and I, I don't like prosecutors. I mean, I like them. They, they serve a purpose and they need to be there like, like cops or firemen or anything like that. But I don't like prosecutors with attitude trying to run the country because remember law and order is, is, is an important thing, but, but it's also have to, it has to do with freedom. It like, like, and so they, they, they welt and dealt this new dude halls or walls or whatever his name is walls and they and 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 on top of it they shook some hands and and and, and did some backroom trading and they got what they wanted but were, but something bad is going to happen democrats never do anything without making concessions and there's no such thing as an ex-republican right democrats make concessions which is why they always lose they 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 promise something to somebody and then eventually that person will not vote for them unless they do what they said they were going to do. And they, they realize that they've been living a lie where they thought they were just going to deny doing whatever it is that the person sold them, like a, like a VP kind of thing. But no, it turns out that she kind of took a loan shark's money or support to like keep your job and keep thriving and maybe continue to be a politician and stay in the power circles and all this. But, but then it comes time to pay the pauper, or sorry, pay, well, pay the price. 
And yeah, the Republicans across the aisle show up and, and they're like, okay, we'll torch you now if you don't stand up to what you said you would do, which we have in paper. We're not going to show the people, but we have the fact that you did this. We can just give that to the police and you'll be in a jail cell this time tomorrow. Now you're guilty and dirty with us. That's, that's what politics are. This guy's probably particularly good at it. He doesn't look like a weak man to me, like Trump. Like, I always thought that Trump's handshake would, might be strong, but, but in reality, it would reflect that it was weak. Because, like, this guy looks like he eats pieces of shit for breakfast. People that, people that try to manipulate American courts and Americans and, 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 and you know, just people that try to manipulate and, and abuse Americans. This guy's used to them. And he will eat people like Trump alive. And, but in order for them to win, they had to wheel and deal something. Understand what's going on in the background. The progressives know. We always know. In order for them to get this happy, like, like Disney ending that they're getting, they sold something to the Republicans. I guarantee I, I put my, I'll put my fucking life on it. They sold something to the Republicans. They get to smile, but then the Republicans get Roe v. Wade or something like that. They, they traded. They're like, okay, rather than the death of the Democratic Party, how about you, get, you guys just get to keep Roe v. Wade? They traded or something. And you can see the smiles on their face because they know they're safe. It wasn't like that a week ago, but it is now. You can see the smiles on their face because they know they're safe. They've made their deal with the fucking devil. And the devil wants back in power. But the devil's been talking a lot about how bad Mexicans are. And that's goddamn stupid because like 46% of this country is Mexican or something like that. So now the devil's got to deal with what the, the devil do. The devil's got to pay the devil's due. Where he, like, you know, where, where Trumpers fucking talk shit about Mexicans for, for eight years when this country is 46% Mexican. So then in order for the Republicans to get back in power again, the, the Democrats were like, all right, you have to work with us then. You have to work with us on certain things like what we want to get done. And I swear to God, they're all back. We're, they're all backroom dealing, and they're all dirty dealers. It's called the Potomac Two Step. I don't trust these two weird fucking suit dummies any more than I do fucking Trump. But understand, I like these people particularly because when they're fucking you, they have the courtesy to give you the reach around and smile at you and explain what it was afterwards. Generally, when the Demo when the when the Democrats are fucking you over and doing some 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 fucking backwards deal. They'll give you a reach around. They'll be like, oh, that was really dirty of me. But hey, uh, you know, but uh, we unlocked, uh, you know, Roe v. Wade again, didn't we? We, we, we got us out of you. Know, it, it was kind of dirty. <clears throat> I always felt like in order for the Democrats to get out of Afghanistan, which is the I would have killed fellow Americans by 2020. If we hadn't got out of it, we're like 2022. Like if we hadn't got out of Afghanistan, I would have been killing fellow Americans, fighting them over this weird, shitty desire to be overseas in the, in the Middle East, killing people that we don't know for no good goddamn reason, for no good goddamn reason under the sun. And then and the Democrats knew by the time the 2018 came around that if they didn't put getting out of Afghanistan on the fucking table, they weren't going to get our votes and we would see like 50 years of Republicans. So yeah, they got us out of goddamn Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, they knew, they knew that I wouldn't have voted for them otherwise. If they if they had continued that war that that that, that they never should have agreed to in the first fucking place, I would have I would have been like, no, you're traitors. You've kept us in this war for 24 years, so you can obfuscate stealing money from our defense budget. I would have made the accusations in public. I would have been like, no, get us out of Afghanistan. They never did anything to us in the first fucking place. I know you sold that lie to the Republican idiots and all the other fucking people in the world that, that, that Osama bin Laden exists or whatever. But no, no, no. The CIA did 9-11. And I'll state my life on that. I'll go to my fucking grave. I'll die on that hill. The CIA committed 9-11. I'm fucking certain of it. I see those old white guys. Some of us are old enough to remember. Like, kind of creepy. They want to keep running the world when they can't even run down the street. Trump could not run down the street like me. I just ran. Like, you know, my mother pulled up the other day. And I was like, I don't know, like half a country mile down the road. I was like, oh, it's my mother or whatever. She wants to talk to me. So I went running and I, I you know, and I ran half a goddamn country mile or whatever. Trump can't do that. I'll be able to do it when, it, when it's his age. I could do it when I was fat. These people are weird. They're like weird creepers that don't ever exercise and don't ever do anything except play power games and try to steal money. They're weird, like weird reptilian fucking greeters. They're like greeter breeders. that just, you know, f I don't know. It's hard to... It's hard to try not to fucking disparage them all the time. These are our fellow Americans. I just don't like that they're creepy. This guy doesn't either. I don't like that they're creepy. 
they seem like they're constantly out to get Jewish people and Chinese people and Mexican people and Japanese people and Chinese people. They, they, it seems like they're kind of they're, they seems like like that they're kind of biased against like like single welfare mothers as if that's the single weather you know single welfare mother's fault that she's not getting the TLC and care from her community and the politicians needed to address the issue 35 years ago but instead they just let Fox Fox talk shit about single mothers you know talk shit about uh, uh, children born out of wedlock and stuff and it was just weird it's just they're like kind of creeper they're like kind of old dinosaur creeper they kind of creep me out. Like, you know, when, you, when you're around them, you're like, okay, we're all living a, an episode of Gilligan's Island, aren't we? We're all, like, playing these roles, aren't we? None of my other friends from any of my other generations were like that. But the boomers are weird. Everything's like Gilligan's Island. Everybody's got a role that's set. Everything's fucking caste system. Everybody's either a welfare mother or a Republican or a Democrat. There's they, like every like the boomers have to suss everybody out to some category. Everybody's like, are you trans or not trans? It's just really weird, and it's and I've just never understood that burning desire to categorize everything like some kind of scientist in a lab. You're not a scientist in a lab. This is humanity. Who cares what people do? As long as they're not raping you or killing you or stealing your shit or scamming you or robbing you or fucking your grandparents over or something like that. Honestly, what do you care what other human beings do in the privacy of their home? What do you care? This control, just like Star Wars said, the, the, the more you squeeze your grip, the more systems slide right through your fingers. The more you try and fucking fascist up this goddamn place with your totalitarian fucking like tyranny and your, your 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 war against the drugs and your war against the guns and your war against the fucking you know the poor and your fucking weird wars overseas that just never showed anything or ever or, or went anywhere except for world war ii and even then i don't really know where we got the money or the time to go attack omaha beach we weren't attacked on we weren't attacked on home soil we were false flagged on home soil when it was Republicans who were talking about freedom. Right. It turns out now what they meant was the government should be free to invest. Free to shit on you. When, when, the Repub <coughs> when the Republicans say patriotism and freedom, what they actually mean is the government has the freedom to run slipshod all over you and back the corporate fucking interests and lobby. Paid your doctor's office. In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and their personal choices that they make. Even if we wouldn't make the same choice for ourselves, there's a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. Yeah. This is what we need. This is a, listen, this. It's just, it's, it's, it's just not a, not a crazy person. It's just a sane person. And, and, and I, I urge the Republicans to look at it like this, right? If the Democrats win this election, I think you guys think it's the end of the world because you, you won't have control over the government over anymore. But no, it's quite the opposite. Remember, these, pe these piece of shit Democrats have not done anything for 60 fucking years. They still haven't. They're not known for doing anything. Maybe getting healthcare done, one or two platforms in 60 years, healthcare done, and a little bit of infrastructure and stuff. Other than that, it's been foreign wars, Watergate. I mean, it's just, you know, and, and like, I, I'm just saying that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's, it's, this is an energy we forgot. It's an energy that we for forgot existed in America, Hope, because we just assumed that the same boss is going to be the, the, you know, the, 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 the last, you know, we, the, you know, we, and pray that we don't get fooled again. Pray that we don't get fooled again. We pray that we don't get fooled again. And I'll tell you what Americans like. Americans like boring. We don't want clown characters for, for leaders. We like Ben Stein. Don't believe me? Ben Stein did gold, did gangbusters in America. He was he, he ran a television show successfully for twelve years. Ben Stein was in so many fucking movies and all this right now. If you guys don't know who Ben Stein is, he's this wonderful comedian, and uh, and he was very 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 deadpan, like Bob Newhart. He was doing he was rocking the Bob Newhart deadpan thing hardcore, and uh, and uh, and. That is America. America is Bob Newhart. It's it's a stuck up dude who's working a corporate job, who believes in his kids and his money, and that's about it. You know, 
and he likes you know the th he likes being an american but he doesn't like drama and honestly I, I i need for my politicians to go back being boring if i if, if i'm if i'm more entertained by my politicians than springer that can't be good for america about because let's be honest there was not this energy behind joe biden joe no, biden no. has been no, a no, great no, president no 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 like no no like and honestly i i think another thing that that i've had my tip on the, the tip on my tongue you know on the tip of my tongue for months is i kind of think that the democrats have to accept the republican leader and i think the republicans have to accept the democrat leader it needs to happen and it's not like there's all these like like stone walls and stuff that happen where they're like oh no i i won this election they just lied about it or whatever and it's like no no you have zero proof of that they went back and they ch they checked like a hundred times you you got zero proof of that you just lied and now you should technically lose your job because you lied to the american public i will li give you the list of dozens of important accomplishments of the biden administration yep but he didn't have this energy and now nope. it's here with the relatively useful, youthful 60-year-olds, Kamala Harris <laughs> and Tim Walz. I think Kamala Harris may be a few months shy of 60. I actually don't know how old she is. doesn't matter. 60 is okay. But this is an energy. I want her out by 68. I want her out by 68. 68 is pushing it. But 60 is okay. Is, is Kamala, how old is Kamala Harris? Let's go look. 60 is okay. I, I would prefer that they retire at 65. Like It would be good that she didn't get two terms. Because I only want her in um, for until she's 65, and then and then I want to force retirement on all of America. I don't really believe in people working their, themselves to death through their old age. I believe you should rethink your life and figure out some way to be like a better person who's there for your grandkids and there for your family and your life and everything. And I don't really think that we should have 60 fucking eight year olds or 74 year olds or even 78 year olds running the country i don't think they have the mental acuity gee that has been but i've been saying something that everybody has been saying it's nothing new and forgotten because it's been missing it's been negative messaging from trump and just kind of a lack of energy yep all the news and all the journalists are bullshit it's all fake all the election was rigged and it's all bullshit it's all fake all the government is bullshit and it's not it's not real it's it's, it's fake like, I mean, and that was the whole point. And, you know, and all the charges brought against me are, are, are not real. They're fake. And it, it is sort of real. Like, there's this point where, like, you, you can't just continue to deny reality. From Biden. And it is. It costs you in the end. Here. And honestly, I bet we see Republican rule in this country in the next 16 years yet again. I believe we will. Because the, the country itself is 49-51, never get anything done. And so we're going to sit 49-51, and the Republicans and Democrats are going to trade off one after the other. If we only have two-party system, and we won't, we won't, we, we just won't support a third-party system anymore. Maybe we should just fucking start trading elections, like you know, the Democrats get to rule for four years, and then the Republicans get to rule for four years, and everybody gets a fair chance or whatever. And elections still matter. You can't run and, unless you won the election or whatever. But just, you know, why don't we just give each other, each side their fair due? Has that ever occurred to anybody before? Maybe we should just start sharing the goddamn leadership, actually, and make sure that the Congress is split 50-50, the judges are split 50-50, SCOTUS is split 50-50, everything's split 50-50, you know? Instead of, like, incumbent in this or that. And when you win a vote, all you all you're doing is entering a roster and maybe you're up, maybe you're not, but you won the vote. And so you qualify for head of whips. But because there's, you know, there's so many Republicans and so many Democrats, depending on whatever your orientation is, you have to wait for a spot to open on the right side of the party that has uh, somebody else leaving the party. And I want them to retire at 65. And it is triggering the right wing in a way that yeah, you can't even crazy. imagine. And that's what I want to talk about next. Yeah. MAGA I don't like is how, running how, scared. I, I, right yeah, wingers. They're, they're like are, triggered and that sucks, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to make a lot of money. That's good.
I needed to buy the scroll of refresh. To load, uh, wow, did I change the title? I did War Within pre patch 8724 World of Warcraft. There we go, 12,000 viewers. Good. Then we're going to pop over here. I'm going to change the title. Change the title, save. I'm going to load wow. And I'm going to um, come in. Yeah, can we just share the leadership now? You guys think I'm a communist, but and I, I guess sharing is kind of communism a little bit, but couldn't we just sort of start doing four-year bids of, of, of Democrat and then four-year bids of Republican? Do we need do we need the popular vote? We know that it's a two-party system that's probably going to stay that way. Couldn't we just sort of start sharing the responsibility of leader, leadership with, of the president? I don't know. Free trial for Diablo 4 available for a limited time. Slate demons for three for free through August 12th. Okay, but I don't like Diablo anymore. I'm sorry. You poisoned the well. I warned you about it. No, I won't even play your game free now. No. Nope. Okay, so, yes, I have sold everything that she sent me. I guess I actually get to sit down right here. are terrified. Fox News is imploding. Trump is melting down because the Kamala Harris vice presidential pick of Tim Walz continues to show a contrast maturity. in energy. Strategy, maturity, pride, positivity, planning, trading, strategy, backroom dealing, CFR, trilateral. A contrast in uh, policy knowledge and a contrast in charisma that is very, very bad for the Trump Vance ticket. I'm going to give you some examples from the last 24 hours. Here is former Trump strategist and propagandist Stephen Miller. He doesn't know what insults to throw at walls. He's terrified. This man is a moron, he is an incompetent, he is a radical, and he is going to turn the entire Midwest into a third world state. This is a disaster Bullshit. for America. We have to beat this guy, and we have to beat Harris in November. Oh my God, he's Does so anyone angry. believe that? He's, he, what are you talking about, dude? What are you dude? talking about, dude? He even went further to say that the Midwest no, under Tim it. Walls will become Mogadishu. Aside Mogadishu. from being painfully dumb, there's probably some xenophobic aspect to this, right? He's the biggest booster in the whole country for unlimited refugee resettlement. Oh, indeed. That means under oh, the yeah, Harris indeed. Walls plan, they're going to turn the entire Midwest into Mogadishu. That's their plan. That's their policy. I don't think there's a market for that in the United States of America. You know, I increasingly doubt whether there's a market for this type of dishonesty. Type like, of, I'll be frank, they've always lies. been this dishonest with the fear mongering, but it's feeling like people aren't going to fall for it this time. It just doesn't, it doesn't seem, seem like, like it's, it's going to fly, right? When They're like, oh no, our propaganda machine isn't working anymore, and we're not lying, our lie machine isn't successfully working. And they're like, oh no, our rhetoric isn't working anymore. No, nobody wants to hear your weird, crazy shit. We've had enough crazy. We need normal, we need normies. The one place that I really, really, really like muggles is politics, right? Who understands politics better than a muggle? Muggles always talk about their fucking families or whatever, right? Who, who knows better than, you know... Like, who, know, who knows better about family and family politics and running a government than a muggle? All of them are muggles, you know? Walls go out there and deliver a positive message, positive speeches in Philadelphia out out outlining okay. an aspirational vision for the country. I like pac -Man. And then Stephen Miller's talking about they're going to turn the Midwest into Mogadishu. It I just question. Reminds me of me. It reminds me. 
question whether it's going to work. I wonder if your propaganda is going to swing this time. We know how crazy you are. Maybe we'll just swallow the pill and be like, all right, you want us to believe it, then okay, everybody's crazy. But no, I think you're crazy. Republican Speaker of the House, one of their favorite ad hominems is to say people are like Bernie Sanders. And here is what Kevin McCarthy had to say. This is the most extreme. This is going from San Francisco to, here you go into Minnesota, the area that even Ronald Reagan could not win. Um, I mean, this is what's so amazing to me. I served with Tim. He, we came into Congress together. Um, he's known for being the Bernie Sanders of Congress. All right. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad, too bad to me. Again, I don't know. You know, the, the people that will heal, heal, hear Bernie and say, I'm out, are already not voting for Kamala Harris. Yeah. So I just don't know that that's yep. really going to move the Definitely. needle. Let's briefly go back to Stephen Miller in nope. another interview where he referred to Tim Walls as the Jack Kevorkian for America. <laughs> What's happening here I mean, is very important to understand. This man, they call him Tampon Tim, to is a full-blown radical left communist. He is left is of Bernie Radical Sanders. left communist. He is left of Rachel Maddow. He is left of Elon Omar. He is left of AOC. But the Democratic Party believes that if they wrap up those odious, insane policies, tampons for boys, castrating young children, open borders, unlimited refugee resettlement. Open they borders. They put this wrapper. Yeah, I don't water. care. I don't care if there's tampons in the men's room, if there's trans trans girls there or whatever. I mean, like, what's wrong with tampons or whatever? Autopilot junking. Fake, smug, smile, his fake, phony, non existent charm. But if they put that like wrapper you. on it, like you, that like you, buddy. Americans will somehow vote to commit suicide. Tim Wells' job is to be the Jack Kevorkian for America. His job is to be the assisted suicide doctor, to lean over charmingly Change by the password. bedside of America and to give it. A fatal injection. In I else. don't think this is landing. I want to hear about? from you. Is is this stuff you going to inspire me. anyone to go out and vote Trump? I struggle to see it. And then finally, you know that they're not doing well when I Ben Shapiro seems to be this stressed out. Said, if you go back far enough, he was a high school football coach. And don't you know, he's a teacher and a high school football. He's basically Mr. Feeney, but more athletic. He's Mr. like Ed Feeney. Asner, a vuncular, oh, it's moderate, you open just one clients. of the boys. You know, a guy who can crack a beer and can shoot a rifle, but is also really, really in favor of gun control and transing the kids. That's basically the pitch in jumping. favor of Tim Walls. So she does this routine. These rallies are incredibly well choreographed. I will say that. They are very well choreographed. She calls for a chant, and a chant goes up. First Democratic rally I've seen for a while where, where people start actually cheering USA. And why are they cheering USA? Because she says, what an amazing country this is. What an incredible country where a person like me, a middle-class person, or Tim Wall's middle-class person, can become the president and vice president of the United States. Now, I agree with that. But she doesn't agree with that. She believes that America is systemically racist. So does Tim Walls. So do I. They're in a panic. They are in. They are so scared, and reality is starting to sink America in. America is systemically racist. The message of Trump. It's like terrible. Most of the people in the ghettos are people of ethnicity. This is because Approaching the land the has always been owned by the one percenters, and the one percenters won't deal with people of other color. The apocalyptic music. They will if they're rich. And Trump complaining about how planes are stuck on the tarmac and never leave and all of this crazy stuff. It's not landing. The crowds leave while Which Trump speaks jumping. and sometimes sleep. Wow. Whereas the crowds here with Harris and Walls, after years of hearing how there was no energy and the Democratic candidates couldn't fill an arena, it has changed and they are in a panic. Now, I've deliberately Walking not told you how Trump is reacting Walk to all of this. Active. Let's deal with that after this short break. Our sponsor, 8 Sleep, is the creator of the pod, which can be added to your existing mattress like a fitted sheet to automatically cool down or warm up each side of your bed and in turn improve your sleep quality dramatically. Meet their newest model, 8 Sleep's Pod 4 Ultra. It cools, it heats, and now it can elevate your head automatically. 
Pod 4 Ultra can cool down each side of the bed to 20 degrees below room temperature, keeping you and your partner cool even in a heat wave. The pod can even detect your snoring station. and automatically lift your head by a few degrees to improve that airflow and stop your or your partner's snoring. There is nothing else like it on the market. What? I've been using eight sleep products for a long time and it's one of the few things in my house that I couldn't go without now. Pod 4 Ultra also introduces an adjustable base that fits between your mattress and your bed frame to add reading and sleeping Active. positions to help you unwind at night. Go to 8sleep.com slash Pacman and use code Pacman to get Pac-Man. $350 off the Pod 4 Ultra. The Run link is in the description. Nothing better. Catalog and preserve the David Pacman Pacman Show is directly funded by you. Thank you to yes. the, let me give you an exact number, in fact. Thanks to the... 158 new members who have signed up over the last few days. I very much appreciate that. Uh, We do give our members an extra show every day called The Bonus Show, as well as commercial free audio and video feeds of the show, uh, access to the members-only soundboard, and the member-only town hall events. Sign up at joinpacman.com. You can sign up monthly or for the year. And of course, the coupon code Save Democracy 24 continues to be available. You can also pre-order my forthcoming book, The Echo Machine, The Echo Machine, at uh, davidpackman.com slash echo. And you can also get a discount off of the book if you order it on bookshop.org, where you can search my name and very powerful things happen to whatever device you're on, apparently, when you do that. Uh, Joinpackman.com is the place to sign up. Donald Trump seemingly mentally destroyed by the boundless energy behind the Harris Walls ticket, and Trump is stuck with this uncharismatic, low-energy guy who just wants to sit on the couch, for lack of a better term, J.D. Vance. Trump's losing his mind. Trump gave an interview this morning on Fox and Friends, and not only was it riddled with some of the usual hits from Trump, he did. Are you ready for something big? More often than not, shaking up the small stuff will shake up something even bigger just below the surface. Another little rumble, and we'll have a major find on our hands. I can feel it. A major find works almost the same as the smaller ones with a couple extra steps. Why don't you tackle this one too? It'll be good practice for you. Don't worry. I can guide you through it. Unearth the major find, then speak to Roska to begin excavating it. Eight gold, nine silver. Tell me, Archivist Spy Toto. Quest accepted. Hands on experience. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, Sometimes an earthquake will drum up something real big. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, It's exciting, but you'll want to work quickly. The artifacts only stay on the surface for about five minutes. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, After that, you'll have to plant your totem again and start over. Not the end of the world, but it's easier to do it fast the first time. Rock rock you mind Nothing better than standing in the dirt, dirt knowing that just beneath, rare to find big stuff like that up here. I'll make sure you get he has had to delude himself in order to feel better about what is happening with this Harris Walls campaign. And he wants us to believe that the reason the stock market was down last week and Monday is because of the expectation that Kamala Harris might be president. There's a little problem with what he Beatles says, says though. I'll tell you in a moment. I know some of you suspect asking. what that problem is. Even the talk about her is, has driven the stock market down. Yeah. You know, when the stock market goes down, when you see it go down, that's because she gets a decent poll number. She gets bounces in her poll, the market goes down. The stock market will collapse like in 1929. If the- Trump has been talking about this stuff for years. Trump told us in 2020 that if Joe Biden wins, the stock market will collapse like 1929. And yet we have had oh, dozens my. of oh, all-time oh, historic stock market talking about My dowsing rods have been pointing that's towards that's a set of draconic loons atop a cliff there. and waking shores. I know not what we'll find, but it's never wise to question the whims of my inventions. They're always 97% correct. Always. Quest accepted. Techno spying. Observatory. Zeta says, don't forget to check in with Roscoe The bigger the find, the more complex the excavation. And this is a big find, all right. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, watch out for the elements going haywire. You might find you'll suddenly have way too much water, or fire, or wind or earth. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, now it's raining. Keep up the heat. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, the key to excavation is keeping conditions balanced. Roscoe Rock Tooth says, now it's raining. Keep up the heat.
Lost the rock tooth says, perfect. Looks safe to dig. I don't want to stand at all. Lost the rock tooth says, now it's raining. Keep up the heat. Lost the rock tooth says, now it's raining. Keep up the heat. Lost the rock tooth says, perfect. Looks safe to dig. Lost the rock tooth says, now it's raining. Keep up the heat. Lost the rock tooth says, ha, I think that's Nerobins. Lost the rock tooth says, never know what you'll dig up. Ha. Lost the rock tooth. Of Nothing better job. than standing in the you look to do what master excavator excavation with riverbed. There's a riverbed near Murakai and Onaran plains that's teeming with local lore about a lost caravan. Meet me there as quick as you can. And wear your best, oh, mud ready boots. Meet Ross the Rock Tooth at the riverbed dig site in Onaran plains. Receive 28 gold, 9 silver. Ross the Rock Tooth says, now you're ready to get out in the field, get your boots muddy, and get excavating real artifacts. Ross the Rock Tooth says, catch you at the site. If you don't mind. These people aren't even talking. Why does the elemental have a hat? Simple pottery fragment, what was it worth? Oh, this is a quest. I don't care about the quest. Some people Excavation, my riverbed. We could always use a few. Lost the rock tooth says, catch you at the site. Wow. 684. Let's go do that one. I'm gonna sit over here. I'm gonna turn on the music now. Okay, sorry, I'll be right back. I got a bio, guys.
That's good. camera. Oops. this I'm like out oh uh, is this gonna kill me I'm just gonna all tab <laughs> Al Kathar Academy. We believe in teaching by we example. We believe in teaching Please show these by students how it's done. Please show these students how it's done. Headmaster says another A plus performance from my favorite student. You receive currency, welcoming the awakened quests to. You receive currency, Dragon Isle supplies stating.
You receive loot, worn chitin fragment. You receive loot, worn chitin fragment X5. You loot 1 gold, 71 silver, 20 copper. You receive loot, worn chitin fragment. performance from my favorite Headmaster says, another a class performance from my favorite student. Test your lesson, before the shipping test is completed. Receive 684 gold, 33 silver. You receive currency, welcoming the awakened crests to. You receive currency, Dragon Isle supply is sating. Receive loot, worn chitin fragment 7. Professor Max Dornu says, uncovered by the foolish Falstan Stagum, the swarm of Armchirich was unleashed. It would be some time later we would learn these insects were merely tools of a long-imprisoned old god. You receive loot, Bygone Idol. Professor Max Dornu says, broken by the swarm, the mortal races and their allies risked losing all. In their desperation, they called to the bronze dragonfly to aid, but we did not come, at first. You receive currency, Blightstone is one. You receive loot, Dragon Horns is three. You receive loot, Dragon Isles artifact. Oh yeah. You loot, potion of frozen focus. There was something else I wanted to look at. God damn it. You will not let me move. Get off the fucking mountain. Ah, you're so annoying. Now, where? Oh, did I lose my 11? Yeah, I did. Because no. 
natural phenomena are disrupting the ship. Missive finds its way to you. Assassination. Please come Adventurers to wanted. Promise call. Promy is seeking Strange veteran adventurers to embark on expeditions through time and space. This is your opportunity to experience the legendary adventures of the past today. Speak with Promy and Stormwind Embassy for more information. Like Speak with Promy and Stormwind. You have learned a new ability, switch flight style. You have learned a new spell, second wind. Quest accepted, Radiant Echoes. Nice to see hey there, Skycat. Oh, I'm glad you made it, Skycat. Something tells me that your future is waiting for you in the past. Romy. Hey there, Skycat. Wherever you want to go, I can help you get there. Time works in mysterious ways, but you don't look like a stranger to mystery. Experience gained, 775. Received 2 gold, 2 silver, 20 copper. Loot specialization set to assassination. Discovered Stormwind City, seven hundred and seventy experience gained.
She has 47,000 gold. I'm just gonna have her pay for... All of her items have been liquefied. It's weird. Fucking weird. You receive item. Polished pet charms for... You receive item, Herbalist's Spade. You receive item, Baradin's Warden's Tabard. You receive item, Hex Weave Bag. You receive item, Fierce Gladiator's Leather Spalders. You receive item, Fierce Competence Shadow Cape. You receive item, Belt of the Uncrowned. You receive item, Fierce Competence Leather Gloves You receive item, Fierce Competence Leather Tunic You receive item, you? Fierce Gladiator's Leather Slippers See you, later. you receive item, Wicked Witch's Signet You receive item, Mask of the Uncrowned You receive item, Swarming Legards of the Quick Blade You receive item, Astral Alchemist Stone. You receive item, Fierce Competence Necklace. You receive item, Arcanogalum Digit. You receive item, Fierce Competence Leather Wrist Guards. You receive item, Nagrand Arrow Blunxate. You receive item, Frost Weeks 59. Oh my god, she can't. You receive gold. item. Primal Spirits 2. You receive item, Well Worn Stone. A hundred thousand. You receive item, Commander's Drain wow. Agility Potion 20. You receive item, Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. You receive item, Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. Hello. You receive item, Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. You receive item, Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. You receive item, Commander's Drainic Agility Potion 20. You receive item, Ancient well. Healing Potion 4. You receive item, Field Packs 6. You receive item, Aged Health Potion 11. You receive item, Commander's Drainic Agility Potion 20. You receive item, Ancient Healing Potion 20. You receive item, Commander's Drainic Agility Potion 20. You receive item, Cinder Pup. You receive item, Vanishing Dust. You receive item, Sleep Potion. You receive item, Diamond Stone. You receive item, Fruitful Bottle. You receive item, Drainic Seeds. You receive item, Rush Order, Scribes Quarters 4. You receive item, Follower Retraining Certificate. You receive item, Iron Horde Scrap Saving. You receive item, Elixir of Giant Growths 20. You receive item, Miner's Cough Eeks 20. <coughs> you receive item, Elixir of Giant Growths 20. You receive item, Bear Tartarex 3. You receive item, Elixir of Giant Growths 20. You receive item, Sleeper like Sushix 3. You receive item, Elixir of Giant Growths 20. You receive item, Thistle TX18. You receive item, Elixir of Giant Growths 20. You receive item, Mariner's Grogs 2. You receive item, Crack Drainic Mortar. You receive item, Deep Sea Queen Fish Cakes 7. 
You receive item, Silk Weave Bandage X17. You receive item, Fresh Crawler Salad X7. You receive item, Deep Sea Spirits 3. You receive item, Legion Spoiling Ration. You receive item, Fortified Armor Enhancements 2. You receive item, Power Overrun Weapon Enhancement. You receive item, Void Shrouded Satchel. You receive item, Rush Order, Alchemy Labs 2. You receive item, Ulfgar's Greaves of Bravery. You receive item, Jeweled Fishing Pole. You receive item, Hex Weave Bag. Oh, there it is. You receive item, War Ravaged Weapon Rix 5. You receive item, Miner's Copy. You receive item, Hallowed Wand, Ghost. You receive item, War Ravaged Armor Sets 5. You receive item, Commander's Drainic Agility Potion X20. You receive item, Greater Drainic Agility Flask. Where is the fucking portal to You Pandaria? receive item, Bear Tartarex 20. Is this the balloon? Like, why is the portal not here? You receive item, Ancient Mana Potion. <sighs> you receive item, Weighted Jack O' Lanterns 3. You receive item, Admiral's Compass. You receive item, Uncrowned Insignia. You receive item, Obliterunks 2. You receive item, Gleaming Lamp of Alabus. You receive item, Nordanal Ampul. You receive item, High Mall Relic. You receive item, Pet Cage. You receive item, Pet Cage. You receive item, Cinder Pup. You receive item, Oversized Bobrick 17. You receive item, Worm Supreme X17. You receive item, Master Plow. You receive item, Hex Weave Bag. everything huh okay how to get to maybe i should just go look for the portals in the uh or no i want to talk to a guard is what i want to do i want you to tell me where king's honor friend Other continents, I want to go to Jade Forest Pandaria. Go with honor. What was this? You killed me. No, you didn't kill me, but it was close. Wait, that's a portal to Dalaran right there, damn. Oh god, you're not showing me the map at all. Where is it? Where is this? Uh, where is this? God damn it! You, you're like you're like little the thing went away. 
light be with you. Light. light oh, it's in the mage tower now. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Like you guys change this stuff all the time. I can't remember where the portals are. I think the portals have always been there, but I don't think Jade Forest was in the, the was this it was in the mage tower. I don't think it ever has been. What gear did they give me? Two twenty. Um, I think I walked past some portals. Did I? Oh, I don't know. No. There's Dalaran J Force. Wait, maybe this character just has a fishing pole she can pass around? Oh, yeah. Shit, now that I did the bank, I don't have to go do this. I can just log out of the rogue, go on to the priest, take her best fishing pole, and send it to my fucking... Uh, or, well, I don't know, actually. I think I've got to buy a BOE fishing pole for my for my main. And, uh, like, I don't think I can do jewel fishing pole. There is a broadsword and cobbiters. Did they talk? No, they didn't talk. It's a bifrost and a cobbiter. And I'm, uh,. Now I'm thinking twice about leaving this here because if these people are here, they can easily just kill me. Yeah, just just stack full. Yep, and I'll just go start dumping since these guys are here. That's fine. I, I, I do not mean them any harm. Self drive active. Okay, so I uh, now I want to turn the music up. Oh, I don't need this. I don't need this. I can just log out. I need to look at in. Um. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Just log. That's fine. Quest accepted. Radiant Echoes. The Shadow of Vilnius. Champion of Vilnius. I have a letter for you from Princess Tess Renee. She was You have learned a new spell. Second Wind. Quest accepted. The Shadow of Jilnis. Meet me in the Garden of Stormwind Keep. Where did all of my loot go? Important matters to discuss. Okay, so I have to 
Go to the mailbox and deal with all the stupid mailbox shit. I guess I can see now that I can just sort of like start funneling everything to other characters to make money on that server, which is kind of cool. I do like that. You receive item, Drainic Pale oh. Ale. Wait, so what happened to all of my loot? It w oh yeah, Beacon of the Naru. Wait, holy. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, legendary. Yeah, yeah. Cause from um, yeah. So. I guess, I think, um, let's look at her, her reputations, but, uh, yeah, she's exalted with a whole bunch of them, see, exalted across the board with Cataclysm, exalted across the board with Wrath, so I'm looking for, uh, Nat Peggle from... Pandaria. I'm a stranger, so no, she can't. Um, all of her loot is gone for some reason, which is weird. Did you Good stick it in the bank up. or something no one's weird? Ever... Oh wow, yes they did. Look, oh my god, how much is that worth? Oh my god, look at how much stuff she has. People think I was lying about being like this super crazy person, but no, I've got tier sets in here from 20 years ago. I've got stuff from 20 years ago, you know, like all kinds of stuff that you can't get anymore. But yeah, uh, so there, there. See, this Drake Fire amulet is tw it's 21 years old. That Drake, that Drake Fire amulet, it's my original Drake Fire amulet. I actually what I actually did open the gates. I, uh, like I actually am who I say I am. Oh my God, she has 94 soul lessons. She has a lot of money here, but mainly i'm here for a fishing pole so let's see what she's got in terms of that oh look it's all in her bank for some reason so there's a Kalawak fishing pole which allows underwater oh uh oh she can go buy oh no it's soul bound though so can i put that in my 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 uh safe travels my uh my my warband bank where's the warband bank she's not like acting right it's because all, all of her um her all the add-ons are broken so go to add-on and disable all i love my priest i love her so much good day to you uh so now i'm gonna go to the warband bank and i see a bunch of stuff in there but mainly i want to do uh how much money how much money does she have she has 127,000. so cool purchase this next warband bank then that's a good use of my money it's cool well i've got three tabs now cool how much is the next one it's 500,000. Well, I can still have a lot of money. I'm going to deposit like 20 grand in here. Except there's 40 grand in there for my main to work with. It's good for the next expansion. She'll have buying money for smaller things. But mainly, deposit all warbound items. So I am here to try See you and... See later. Oops. Yeah, I want to... How uh, are you? Uh, yeah, I want to put that fishing pole in the warband bank. But, but, but it can't. Oh, soul bank can't, soul bank can't be. See you around. So what is the best BOE fishing pole, I guess, is the next uh, next question. I want to go to uh, Cargo Container. I want you to just remove those. Okay. Uh, I'll stay there. I want her... What is the best BOE fishing pole, I guess, is the next question.
Okay, so she just buys a fishing Safe pole. Travels. I didn't know, but it, I guess the fishing pole really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go back on my main and go buy a fishing pole, I guess. I had no idea it was that easy. I just thought that, you know. I think I'll probably have to do that in Stormwind or something. I'm sorry, you're not. Oh, oh, no, I'm already tackled. Why? Stations, terminus stuff. Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay. What? They came to my system. Oh, well, at least I got the... I definitely got a lot more out than I lost. That's annoying. But it's alright. We'll go back out again. You receive currency, like Stonis Swan. You receive loot, Marble Gold Loot Brisket. You receive loot, Dragon Isles Artifact. You receive loot, Refreshing Healing Potion. You receive loot, Mound of Dust. You receive loot, Nongto Talon. You receive loot, Elemental Note. I'll just mine whatever system I come in. It's annoying that they're there. But it's alright. It really doesn't matter. When I come through, I'll, I'll wait until I have like a billion isk. And I'll just come with my uh, Akator and just take it out of there. Go fight whatever that is. Oh, yeah, so uh, she needs to buy a fishing pole, which I totally spaced. So take me to Dalaran. I still made more than I lost, it really doesn't matter. Self drive active. I will dump single loads tonight when I'm full try and keep it fresh i'm learning how to mine in extremely difficult circumstances and how you do it is you just go out with a metal pick and like make it over and over and over and over and over and over again so you get what you need archmage tenage welcome to delaran traveler is there some archmage tenage which profession trainer were you looking for archmage tenage Marsha Chase. Fishing in a Play of Ice Fin. You receive item, oversized for Burks 5. You receive item, fishing pole. You can 160 gold, 17 silver, 86 copper.
Wait, this, uh, this bench isn't fit. What do you mean? Why is it empty? Why? What's the point of that? Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Piece of fucking shit. God damn fucking... Whatever. Just go take this empty sh shell over there. Why did you have me come here in an empty shell? You wasted Welcome my time. You're fucking dumb. Self You're drive. dumb. Active. God damn video game developers. Whatever. So dumb, so dumb, so dumb, so dumb. Alright, water crystals. I got four Even ice clusters from somewhere. Oh, you DC. Why did you DC? Oh, Approaching Stargate. You constantly DC. Why? Oh my god, look how many copper ingots that is. I have like 200,000 gil worth of, uh, of goldsmithing that's just paying for all my scrolls and everything. I'm gonna go change that key so it stops harassing me. The greater chasm Zorik says, gather round and witness mystical wonders like you've never seen before. Oh, I the can greater press and hold says, Let's keep the show moving. Approaching the greater chasm Zorik appreciates your point. Alright, uh... The greater chasm Zorik says, and now for my next trick. As you can see, there's nothing up my sleeve. The Great Egg Hasm Zorik says, and, bam. Um, the Great Egg Hasm Zorik says, step right up. I forgot what I was doing. The amazing magical talents of the Great Egg Hasm Zorik. Autopilot jumping. You receive item, salvage crates. You receive item, tormented leggings. You receive item, salvage crate. You receive currency, garrison resources 261. Approaching station. You receive item, weapon enhancement token. Shadow Hunter Ucamp says, Boss, I got the recent threats sketched out on the table for you whenever you be ready. You receive currency, garrison resources 654. Fit.
Okay, now I'm in Nalvula, and I want to go out of Nalvula. Reserving rarities. Much to be done. Let's unravel a secret. Quest accepted. Reserving rarities. Brigitte says, welcome to the roasted round. Seating is open. Tella says, the siege on Dragon and Keep is about to begin. Drive active. Trading Post Barker says, hey friend, come check out our new items in the Trading Post. We just got a new shipment. Find a rumble point. To use this game machine, you need a rumble point. There are a bunch of coins hidden all around the Dragon Isles. We'll chat about those later. Quest accepted. Find a rumble point. The Warcraft rumble machine stands before you. A small sign reads, insert rumble. Mizzen says, wow, cool price. Ask me about other places you can look for rumble points, and let me tell you about coins. Receive 92 silver, 50 copper. You receive item, Rumble Prize Box. You receive item, Warcraft Rumble Toy, well pick. The Warcraft Rumble Game, you did great. Insert coin completed. The Warcraft Rumble Game. Okay, so right now I have 30,000 gold. Let's see how much I have afterwards. 31,000. Thirty-two thousand, thirty-seven thousand. Good. So I made I made eight thousand or seven thousand seven thousand seven hundred twenty nine. That's not bad. Mankook says, Shiree. Shiree says, Mankook, how can I help you? Okay, so Mankook says, looking for a new. Oh, I got a toy. Uh, I came says, here sure to see Anything if there's else? any upgrades for cheap. Warcraft Rumble toy. Well, egg has been added to your toy box. And then I've got to go to vent there. Mankook mumbles something. Shiree says, What was that, Mon? Mankook says, I said, can I also get a bracelet? A nice one. Shiree says, we only sell nice ones. 
Who's it for? Mine There's says, 451 Hot. rings. I want to buy them. Shiree says, good for ya. It's about time. I want haste, Mine crit verse, crit verse. I want haste, versatility. Oh, really? Oh, and then these have prismatic, prismatic sockets? Okay. They're good rings, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd probably take the crit verse, I guess, because I don't want to spend that much money. The expansion's coming. You want an option for Draconic Combinance Jewel Signet? You want an option for Draconic Combinance Jewel Signet? Damn it, that's the only thing. Go back. No, no, not at all. There's a neck. I want haste neck, neck if I can get one, yeah. You want an option for Draconic Combinance Jewel Amulet? There's a neck. Shoulders, shoulders, 421 shoulders. Here's better shoulders, 451. I'll take it if I can get uh, haste. Oh, haste is more expensive. Shoulder guards of the Aurora, haste, and Versa. It got expensive fast. There's a good pair of bracers. I'll just take them. I'm fine. You want an option for Masterwork Bracers of the Fire Flash? And, uh, yep, Amulet, Pendant, Epilux, which is shoulder. Crit Versa, I'll just take it if it's cheap. Can you give me, can you, can you give me haste? Oh, speed. Nope, but I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. You want an option for Windwolf Epilux? Oh no, what's happening? Oh no, go home stations. Uh, doc. It's a hawk. He can't do anything. I will let it cool down for a minute. I'm not. I'm not paying attention. There's cuffs for 5k. Haste cups for 5k. I don't really value it too much. Buy the haste cups. There's a belt for 6k. I'll take that. And I'll spend some money because I, I can make money. This will be such a crazy change for me. Shiree says, save us, yes. Look at all those well, items, I I, like my eye level will be definitely the same higher. You want an option for Draconic Combinance, Adam and Girdle? Gammon says, I on the other hand will be watching, waiting. Shiree says, okay, say hi to Mina for me. You receive item, Draconic Combinance, oh, Jewel Signet. Oh, I got a blue? What is this? It's, uh, you shoulders. You receive item, Draconic Combinance, Jewel Signet. Gammon says, farewell. You receive item, Draconic Combinance, Jewel Amulet. You receive item, Masterwork Braces of the Fire Flash. And I need you a prismatic item, socket for haste. You receive what item, news? Draconic Combatant Sediment Cups. I got what you need. You receive Gems item, Draconic Combatant Sediment Girdle. Haste. Masterwork Bracers has been added to your appearance collection. Windwolf Epilux has been added to your appearance collection. You want an option for Quick Jewel Cluster, X1. Oh, sure. You receive item, Quick Jewel Cluster. My level now is 395, but I mean, I got a bunch of upgrades here. I think my, my, uh, yeah, my staff needs an enchant. Have I got a deal for you. But the, uh, the enchantments, uh... Every time you jump... After you stand still for three seconds. Project Hill Propulsion Pinion. It's 
spell power by 14. Enchant weapon, wafting with red. Not for enchant weapon, wafting red. Excellent. Sorry about that. You receive item, enchant weapon, wafting red. Oh, good, it did work. Sweet. Okay, I don't have enchants, but frankly, I don't care. Or I really don't care. Well, I guess I could enchant chest. Uh, So, rid of haste on rings. We'll buy. We'll buy two of them. No, no. You want an option for enchant ring? Devotion of haste. X two. You want an option for enchant cloak, breath of haste, X45. 45. 45 enchant cloak, breath of haste? How much was that? Why did you buy all of them, you fuck? Oh my god. Okay, well now I've got 45 enchant cloak haste. I don't know. You receive item. Why did you buy that? I stepped on an auction house bomb. God you receive item. Enchant cloak, breath of haste, X45. There's the other ring. I didn't get the other ring on. Should to clean up and show me all of this gear. 357 staff. I wanna I wanna just place all this on sale. Got the best deals anywhere. Okay, 357. That's an upgrade, I guess, but it's it's not much of an upgrade. Three forty six finger. All of that stuff. If you ever need anything, you receive item. Medge was of meditative focus of the peerless. Just throw it away. Oh my god, fine. I'll sell it. And shake chant cloak haste by two. Some artisan's metal is coalesced from your new knowledge. You receive item, artisan's metal X5. You receive currency, dragon isle's leather working knowledge X1. Item, Warcraft Rumble Toy, Murloc. That 
That's it. I got money. Alright, well, we got some progress here, and I had to blow a lot of money to do it, but whatever. Trading Post Marker says, Hey friend, come check out our new items in the Trading Post. We just got a new shipment. Arbiter sees all truths. Cousin Slow Hands says, Shame to sit on something so pretty. Indeed. Okay, I'll go back out to Belt now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that are, oh my god, so many dumb worthless systems that I don't that I don't I just do not care about. Seed or something. What the fuck was your problem? 
What the hell was that? No, don't kill my hunter. No. Got that one guy. Yep, skip to the end where we lost. Yep, sorry, I don't know. It's not my fault. Oh no, this hawk is back. Fucking dumb, Doc. Stop drive active. You receive item, bottle of diluted anima wine X6. Kill any of these. Hurry up, you. Damn it. Oh my god, my tanks got murdered by these people. Skip to the end. I lost that, son of a bitch. 